Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hello, everybody. Let me check up. Glory be to God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is Pastor Jody Lasse. Today, I am standing in one of the city central London. Preach the gospel to the poor. Praise the Lord. I am so much excited here to be with Brother Andy here. Praise the Lord. Come on. Brother Andy, we are both are here sharing the gospel here today. <laughs> Please share this gospel again. Okay? It's a live preaching, live broadcasting to the nation. This is the international revival meeting. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Thank you very much. Praise the Lord. So, everybody. When I am preaching gospel today, I am praying to God. Let all the sick people come here. Is there any sick people? Lots of sick people are walking here. In wheelchair. Some people cannot able to walk. People are walking by stick. This is a time to receive the healing in your body, in your mind. Praise the Lord. Today I am preaching the Bible, preaching the gospel. Preaching Jesus Christ is our true God in front of the nations. All the people, all the ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching online. Thank you for hearing better. God bless you. Okay, thank you. Everybody. Today I accept Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior. I can pray for any seconds. Come forward. Don't be shy. Okay. Anybody. This is your time to receive the salvation and healing and deliverance. I am going to pray for to God right now. Just, I want to pray to God right now. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, before I start this session, I pray for each one of them. The people are walking here. The people are sitting here. The people are hearing this word of God. I pray for each one of them. Thank you for your spreading the salvation in the city Sunday to all the people who are, is hearing this word of God. Thank you for your sending the mighty power of the Holy Spirit to everybody. Thank you for your stretching out your hand to all the people here, those who are suffering sickness. Once again more, I am giving thanks to God. In Jesus' name, I pray. Somebody want to shout and say, Amen. Thank you very much. Yes, I'm going to sing one song. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh, my soul. Worship His holy name. Sing like never before. Oh, my soul. And worship your holy name. The sun comes up, it's a new day dawning. It's time to sing your song again. Whatever may pass and whatever lies before me, let me be singing when the evening comes. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship His holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul, and worship Your holy name. 
reaching love and your slow to anger. Your name is great and your heart is kind. For all your goodness I will keep on singing. Ten thousand reasons for my heart to find. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, and worship His holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul, and worship Your holy name. And worship your holy name. And worship your holy name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Today, Pastor John is standing here only for one purpose. God bless you, man of God. Nice to see you. Okay, thank you. You want to preach again? Come. Praise the Lord. Today, Pastor John is standing here. Only for one purpose, spreading the good news to everybody. That is, Jesus Christ is a living God. God bless you. Come forward, I can pray for you. Any sickness? Enjoy your life. Come forward. I am saying to you, anybody is interested. Pastor Jolly will never force anybody. If anybody wants to enjoy your Christian life, most welcome. Come forward. Praise the Lord. This is a right time. Come forward, I can pray for you. Come forward, I can pray for you. This is a time, okay? I am rejoicing. What's your name, brother? Um, uh, maybe I said Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior. Oh, thank you very much. Do you have a prayer request? Do you want to pray? Sorry? All of us at this time. Okay. I want to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, can we pray for Rob right now, Father? I bless Rob in Jesus' name. You are free from sickness. You are free from sin. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. The child of God. That's what. Thank you, everybody. Everybody, any, any sick people, okay? Coronavirus will not accept, affect your body because you are the child of God. Everybody, all the ladies and gentlemen, the people are walking in this town today. This is the time to receive the salvation today in your life today. Pastor John is standing here. Come for me, I can pray for you. God bless you, thank you. Pastor John is standing here. Only for one purpose, preaching the gospel and healing the sick people in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. All the people I know, all the world are worrying today. You are worrying not only your life, but you are worrying about your surroundings. But according to the gospel, today, Pastor Jolly want to deliver this word of God to all the people. Gospel John, chapter 14, what this one says? Do not be afraid. Believe in God. Believe in me. This is the promise of God. God bless you. Thank you. This is the promise of God. Promise of Lord cannot be changed. Promise of the Lord cannot be changed. The promise. Whichever God said from his mouth cannot be changed. I can pray for you. People are walking with the walking sticks. Come forward. The promise of God cannot be changed. If you are reading in the Old Testament and in the New Testament, in the old areas of in the Old Testament as well as in the New Testament, we can see what Jesus Christ said what our Heavenly Father said to the people. It was happening everything one by one. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So everybody, all the ladies and gentlemen, all the brothers and sisters, Bible says, today is the day of your salvation. Come on. I can pray for you. Come on. Can I pray for you? Stand there, I'll pray one minute. Okay. Heavenly Father, stand there. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray, sister, 
in Jesus name I bless this church in Jesus name Amen God bless you Okay Do you have any ear problem Do you have any hearing problem Come forward I can pray Come forward me Keep distance You are getting hearing right now Pastor Jain the pastor Pastor Jody is calling you Come forward me Keep distance and stand here Stand here keep this will keep distance stand here Come and stand here What's your name sister Sorry Stand here I can pray for you Come forward me I'm going to pray for you Father in the name of Jesus Christ You have uh, you cannot able to talk right Yeah in the name of Jesus Christ I declare Any on that voltage anything happened in the tongue in the name of Jesus Christ I release I release This sickness from this body right now go out right now in the name of Jesus Christ she is your child in the name of Jesus Christ I declare the healing right now Let this sister talk in Jesus name I declare right now Let this sister talk right now in Jesus name. Can you talk right now? How are you? Open your mouth and say, "How are you?" Try, try. I'm asking you, try. How are you? What's your name? You okay? Beauty eyes of Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. I'm going to put prayer here in front. Okay, touch. Okay, hold. Can you hold your hand here? Okay. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare this. hearing problem in the name of Jesus Christ go out right now in Jesus name in Jesus name i open her ear right now in Jesus name by your stripes you are healed john chapter 14 14 you said whatever you ask in my name that you'll get it in Jesus name i declare the healing right now amen thank you open open ear open close your ear Can you close here? Can you close it? Close. close, close very clearly. Close, Lika. What's your name? No, no. Close here. I want to take. Okay. God healed you. What's your name? Okay. Uh, where are you living? Go close here. Close here. It will happen. Your healing is happening right now. You can hear from here. Okay. You can hear. Where are you living? healing happen okay healing happen you already healing happen okay that you heard what i said am i right you heard what i said okay healing already happened okay god bless you thank you thank you very much okay god bless you thank you very much praise lord healing already happen okay you heard what i said okay that means you could able to hear Thank you very much. God bless you. So, praise the Lord. Any sick people, most welcome right now. Praise the Lord. Any kind of sickness, it doesn't matter. Jesus Christ is a healer. Jesus Christ can do the healing and deliverance. Praise the Lord. Jesus Christ can provide salvation. God bless you. Thank you very much. God bless you, brother. Jesus Christ is everything in your life. That is what Bible said. Gospel John chapter forty, verse one says, "Do not be afraid. Believe in God. Believe in me." That means believe Jesus Christ. Believe the Savior. Believe, believe, believe the Redeemer. Believe the miracle God. Bible says, "Our God can take away." the sickness from your body not only from your body the people are standing in front of mcdonalds god bless you everybody any sick people come forward after receiving healing please go and enjoy your life everybody this is the time today pastor jody want to pray for everybody those who are working in this town center jesus christ is a healer Jesus Christ is everything our life That is what Jesus Christ said 
I am the way. I am the life. I am the truth. We are worshipping this true God. Praise the Lord. God bless you. In the New Testament, whenever we are reading the Bible, Jesus Christ, the purpose of manifestation of Jesus Christ to destroy the works of the devil, all the satanic activities, all the difficult situations, God bless you, which you are facing today. If you are in Christ Jesus, Bible says you are the new creation. It has already gone from your body. Praise the Lord. Bible says when you are born again, Bible says you are the new creation. There is a spiritual package already came to you when you believe Jesus Christ is a Lord and Savior. Spiritual package. That means the gospel John. Ephesians chapter 1, verse the 3 says, We are blessed with all the spiritual blessings in Christ Jesus. Bible says, We are the blessed people. God bless you. I can pray You will get more business. People are watching from shops. You are much welcome. I can pray for you. Your business will get increased. God bless you. Everybody. Everybody's business will get increased. Praise the Lord. You will get a good business. If you are in Christ Jesus, Bible says, we are a more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. Nothing will affect in your life. Wherever you are walking, maybe you are in the wilderness. Maybe you are in the desert. Maybe you are in the water. This will not overcome you. Maybe you are in the fire. Maybe you are in the sick people. Does it matter? This will not overcome you. Bible says, the God of Israel, our God, the Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. So that, according to the Bible, today, I can say to all the people, take away all your depressions from your mind. Praise God. I can pray for you. Stand there. No problem. Okay. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for this sister right now. In Jesus' name, I bless this sister. Thank you for opening her eyes, her inner heart to receive this powerful gospel in her. In Jesus' name I pray. Can you say Amen? God bless you. Okay, thank you. Any of the shop people, if you are in the shop, it doesn't matter. Please be there. Pastor Jordi will be praying. From here. Prayer is the power, power of the Lord. Wherever you are, it doesn't matter. Spiritually, we are connected. Spiritually, we are connected. Prayer is the power of the Lord. The prayer, that means we are praying to the Heavenly Father. We are praying to the Creator of the world. Because of this reason, you are healed. Okay, you are healed. You are no more sick people. You are healed. I know. Praise the Lord. You are healed. <laughs> Already I pray for you. When I am praying, people will get to receive the healing. Everybody will be receive the healing. Bible says, the Father in the heaven, our Heavenly Father, He loved the world. So he sent only his son to this world to get everybody eternal life. Today, Pastor John is standing in front of everybody to get everybody eternal life. To get everybody salvation. To receive everybody victory and victorious life wherever you are. Because Jesus Christ, nature of Jesus Christ, that means he is a giver. The nature of Jesus Christ that means he is a cure. Right, right. What the ladies and gentlemen today? Today, this good news. Pastor Paul went to deliver to these nations. The nature of Jesus Christ, that is Jesus Christ is giver. Right, the law. Jesus Christ can give the salvation. Jesus Christ can give eternal life. Jesus Christ can provide everlasting life. Jesus Christ can save your life. Jesus Christ can provide you a better life when you are living in this world. Jesus Christ can heal your sickness from your body. In short, Pastor Jolly wants to deliver this word of God to the nations. Jesus Christ is the only one solution in your life. God bless you. Thank you. The people are standing in front of the McDonald's. God bless you. This is the time to receive the salvation. Praise the Lord. 
This is the time to receive eternal life. Bible says, we are, we are, we have redemption of our sins by the blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ can cleanse all your sins from you. The power of the blood of Jesus Christ is this blood of Jesus Christ can protect you from the any of the situations which you are facing from your life in your life today. This blood of Jesus Christ is so powerful. So, all the ladies and gentlemen, today you are already healed. I am saying you are healed, you can hear. You can. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I believe. If I am praying to anybody, Pastor Jolie will believe that prayer, who are need the prayer, that person already received the answer of their prayer. This is my faith in Jesus Christ. So, the people are watching here. According to my faith, today, Pastor Jolie wants to deliver this word of God to all the nations. You are a more than a conqueror. You are the righteousness of God. Praise the Lord. How we could receive, we could able to stand the position of the righteousness. How we could sit in the family members of God. Let me see. Okay, okay, thank you. What was your thing? The righteousness of God. That means whenever anybody is believing that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, by faith, everybody will be getting a position of righteousness. In other words, I can say to all the people, you are the Holy One in Jesus Christ. All the ladies and gentlemen, today, the people are walking in the city today. According to the Bible, I can say to all the people, you are the righteousness of God if you are believing Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. In the New Testament, Bible says, we all are the righteousness of God. That is what the Christ is in you, the hope of glory. Bible says very clear, the glory is Lord is sitting in your heart. The glory is Lord is sitting in your heart. When Jesus Christ, when he was doing his ministry in this world, 2020 years before, Jesus Christ left his glory in the heaven and came down to the earth like you and me, with the anointing of the heavenly father. Pastor Jolly can pray for you. Come forward, he can pray for you. Any sick people? Any other sickness? Any other circumstances you are thinking? Something is going to destroy you. According to the Bible, Pastor Jolly want to share this word of God to everybody. I am preaching this word of God. This is the power of the Lord. Word of God is the power of the Lord. 
the spirit of God can do a great miracle in your life. Only one thing, Pastor Johnny, when I am speaking this word of God, I can say to you, come forward, walk in difficulties. People are having walk in difficulties, come forward. You can walk without stick, I can prove it. I will not force anybody, praise Lord. Anybody is interested, you are most welcome. You will be receiving healing. You will be receiving deliverance. You can come out from your chains. All the chains of God want to break today. Right, sir? Our God want to break all your chains today. Healing and deliverance will be happening in this city center today. Bible says, if anybody want to go to heaven, you have to born again. Born again is a very, very important one according to the gospel. Without born again, nobody can reach in heaven. If anybody want to receive something from God, if we want eternal life, if we want salvation, the minimum qualification to reach in heaven, that means you have to born again. Praise the Lord. Without born again, we will not get salvation. Without born again, you will not get eternal life. So, all the ladies and gentlemen, today is a your time, your day. Your day, brother. That's why. In Jesus Christ, that is your day. Today is your, your day to receive the salvation from God. Praise the Lord. Pastor Jody will be saying your day. If you want, you can accept. If not, you can reject. That's why. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I am saying, according to my faith, I am saying to everybody, according to the faith which our God has given to me. Praise the Lord. Again, the Bible says, the Gospel of John chapter 5, verse 1 says, who are believes, if anybody is believing that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior, Bible says, we are born from above. We are from above. According to the Gospel, Bible says, we are from above. That means, we are from heaven. We are from heaven and heavenly place. God bless you. Thank you. We are from... <laughs> See, God bless you. Thank you very much. We are... Sometimes we feel enough. We are sitting in the heavenly places. Praise the Lord. That is what the Bible said. Who are believed that Jesus is the Christ. They are born from above. They are from heaven. They are from God. They are from heavenly places. Praise the Lord. The wicked one cannot touch your body. Who is the wicked one? That means the satanic activities will not affect your body. God bless you. Thank you. The satanic world is so afraid. God bless you. When they are seeing your face. So today, Pastor John is here. When I am preaching this gospel, when I am delivering this word of God to the nations, I can say one thing to all the people. You are a chosen one in front of God. The book of Isaiah chapter 16, verse 1 says, Here is a sign for your glory of the Lord has come upon to you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Here is a sign. That means, all the ladies and gentlemen, the people are working here. The people are coming. Hey. Come from, go, go your dad. I can, I can pray for you. Here is and shine, for your glory of the Lord has come upon to you. Here is and shine means everybody should come to know that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. The second day, the very next time, the very next moment, Bible says you can see the deliverance. Bible says you can see the healing. Bible says, you can see, you will create the presence of the Lord. So, Bible says, here is the shine. So, today, when I am preaching this gospel, God bless you. Did you accept Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior? Did you accept Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior? 
God bless you. Thank you very much. Anybody want to receive the salvation, come forward, okay? Don't be shy. This is a time which our God has prepared for you before the foundation of the world. Thank you very much, brother. Praise the Lord. All the angels in the heaven, they cannot be able to preach the gospel. The death people, they cannot preach the gospel. But you, Pastor Jody, and everybody, you are worthy to take the name of Jesus Christ. Pastor Jody and everybody, those who are working here, we are worthy to take the name of Jesus Christ. So all the ladies and gentlemen, God bless you. All the brothers and sisters, our God has chosen you before the foundation of the world. All are living in this world, not in accidentally. Come on, sir. All are living in this world. It is not accidentally. All are living in this world. Because the special plan and purpose of Jesus Christ. Bible says, before the foundation of the world, our God has chosen. God bless you. Thank you. Our God has chosen. Again, Bible says, we are the chosen generation. God bless you. I can pray for you. Come, I can pray for you. Any sick people, don't be shy. Don't be shy. This is the time to receive the deliverance. This is the time to receive the healing. Praise the Lord. I am praying to God, let all the people come forward. Let them come forward and receive the prayer. Receive the healing today. Bible says, Here is and shine the light, the glory of the Lord has come upon to you. The glory means the light of the world. The glory means the power of the Lord. The glory means the presence of the Lord. The presence of the Lord who is believing Jesus Christ is the Lord and Savior. The presence of the Lord, the presence of the Lord will be coming to you. So, I want to say to all the people, believe and receive the salvation. Believe and receive the eternal. Believe and receive the victory. In your life, believe Jesus Christ and run as the miles and enjoy your glorious life, whichever God has given you in this world. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. So, all the people, those who are working here, our God's plan is greater than what you are thinking. You are thinking you want to get a little bit life, you want to live today or tomorrow. I can pray for you, come on. I can pray for you. I'm the pastor. I can pray for you. If you're interested, anybody, 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 this is the time to receive the healing. Praise the Lord. So, that is what Jesus Christ said. By His Christ, we are healed. Healing is happening by the strength of Jesus Christ. Healing is happening by the blood of Jesus Christ. Healing is happening in the name of Jesus Christ. So, I got in the gospel. When Pastor John is praying to everybody, healing power is moving from heaven. Praise the Lord. Healing power is moving from Jesus Christ. Healing power is moving from Holy Spirit. The power of the Holy Spirit. Everybody. Today, all the people, God bless you, thank you. God bless you, God bless you. All the people, our God has chosen you today to receive the salvation today. Does it matter your age? Does it matter what kind of situations you are facing today? Does it matter what is your circumstances? Does it matter which country you are from? Does it matter which continents you are from? We all are the child of God if you are believing Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. Praise the Lord. I am preaching a simple gospel today. <laughs> I am enjoying today. <laughs> I am enjoying today. After this preaching, Brother Hadi will be preaching. After that, I will go to some other city to preach the gospel. I can say one thing to all the people. I can say one thing to all the people. Pastor John is enjoying the Christian life today. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Everybody, all the people wake up today. Today or tomorrow, if you are getting die, definitely, if you are not in Christ Jesus, you will go to hell, not in heaven. Praise the Lord. According to the Bible, our God has kept before you 
a life and death. Whichever you want, you can choose. What do you want? Pastor Jory has taken a eternal life. Whatever you want, you can choose it. If you want to go to hell, you don't want to repent. You don't want to believe Jesus Christ. But if you want, go to heaven. This is must. This is your duty. Everybody, all the ladies and gentlemen, all the people walking in this town center, you have to believe Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. God bless you. Thank you. So, I want to suppose to get high 2030. But today, when I went to came to know Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior, I got a better life. Day by day, Jesus Christ is increasing my life. Praise the Lord. So today, according God bless you. God bless you. Can I pray for you? According to the gospel today, I can pray for everybody. Jesus Christ is the only one solution in your life. Jesus Christ is the only one answer in your life. Jesus Christ is the only one God in your life. Praise the Lord. Pastor John is praying according to the gospel. If you are reading Acts of the Apostles, chapter 1, 2, 3, 4, and all the chapters, all the disciples of Jesus Christ, they were healing. They were healing the crippled person by the presence of God. Today, this entire world is running. All the children of God are running with the gospel with the presence of Lord. With the presence of the Lord. Without the presence of the Lord. Pastor Johnny cannot preach the gospel. That is what the Bible said. Jesus Christ manifested in this world to overcome the darkness, to defeat the darkness of the world, to defeat the Satan, to defeat all the words of the satanic activities. Again, Bible says, Bible says to all the people, if you are not repenting today, like John the Bible said, the kingdom of the God is at hand. Repent, that means, look at back your old life. Praise the Lord. And turn your mind to God. This is the only one thing. Today, Jesus Christ is expecting from you. If you are ready today, if you are surrendering your life today to God, according to the gospel, Pastor Jody can tell to all the people, you will be a more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. Money is nothing. Wealth is nothing. Everything which you are getting in this world, everything, everything is nothing. Without the presence of the Lord, without the presence of the Lord, if you are hearing everything, anything in your life today, that will get perish. That will get perish. But only one thing will not get perish, that is the eternal life. That is an everlasting life. Again today, Pastor Jolly wants to say to all the people, death is not the end of your life. Death is the beginning of your life with our Lord Jesus Christ. Enjoy your eternal life with the God. Everybody. So this is your time. Receive the salvation. This is your time. Receive the eternal life. This is your time. Receive the eternal God. I'm going to pray for one minute. After that, I'm going to hand over this mic to Brother Adi to preach the gospel today. Yes, I want to sing one song. After that, I'll pray to the nations. The people are watching online. 
please share this gospel message. You deserve the love, glory, and the honor. Lord, I lift our hands in worship as we lift your holy name. You deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, I lift our hands in worship as we lift your holy name. Oh, you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. You are great. You are great. Praise Lord. I want to pray for this session right now. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for everybody. The people are watching online. The people are working in this town center. Thank you for touching your body, their heart, their mind right now. Let all the people come and receive the salvation from God right now. I bless each one of them. The people are working. The people are working in this town center. Bless them. Keep them in your God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. Now, Brother Adi will be preach the gospel. One minute. Come, Brother. Thank you, man. Yes, I'll change it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good afternoon, Satan. We have come again this afternoon in the power of the Holy Ghost. Declaring the everlasting gospel of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, have your way right now. Let us really move right now. Let it bring about healing, deliverance, and salvation. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, let there be healing tonight. Let there be salvation. Let there be deliverance. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. We have come this afternoon again to represent Jesus on the street of Sutton. Telling you that Jesus saves, Jesus heals and delivers. And he said to deliver you this hour. To come unto me. He's calling you right now to come unto him. All ye that labor and are heavy burden. He said, I will give you rest. He's calling us to come and receive rest from him. And this hour will tell us that he said that we should fear not. He said, do not be afraid. Let not your heart be troubled. For you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. You shall hear of famine and pestilences. He said, this is not the end. But the end will soon come. And the time is very short. And that is why we have come to tell you this hour that you need to receive Jesus Christ. As the Lord and Savior. No other name can save. Only the name Jesus. Save. No other name has been given under heaven. Whereby we can be saved. For the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus Christ. Is that name. The God has highly exalted him. And has given him a name. That is above every name. At the name of Jesus, every name must bow. He has given him a name that is above every name. The name Jesus. That's the name that saves. That's the name that heals. That's the name that delivers. The name Jesus Christ. He has highly exalted him. God has highly exalted Jesus. He has given him a name that is above every name. The name Jesus Christ is the name that can save. So he's calling right now to receive it into your heart. So for as many as receive him to them, he gave power to become the sons of God. So if you receive him, you are going to receive the power to become his son. And in the book of Psalm 23 says, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pasture. He lead me beside the still water. He restore my soul. So 
even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. The rod and your staff comfort me. Evil prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemy, but it keep anointing my head with oil, and my cup runs over. And surely his goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. So we need to let you know that it's Jesus Christ that gives peace. When you make him the shepherd of your soul, you will never lack peace. When you make him the shepherd of your life, you will never lack hope. He's the hope giver. He's the peace giver. He's the one that gives everything. He said the devil come but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. He said, but I come that you may have life and that you may have life abundantly. The devil can only kill, he can only steal things from you, he can only destroy your joy. But there's one person that gives joy, is the joy to the world. Jesus Christ is his name. And that's why we have come to tell you this hour that you need Jesus in your life. We need Jesus in your life. You need Jesus in your life. You need Jesus to walk with you. You need Jesus to guide you. You need Jesus to be your shepherd. You need Jesus to be your guide. You need him. You need him. You need him every hour. And that is what we have come to tell you this hour. That you need to have a place for him in your heart. Say, let not your heart be troubled. Say, believe in me. Believe also in my father. Say, for in my father's house, there are many mansions there. There's so much place in, the, in, in Jesus Christ. There's so much place in the heavenly place. And he wants us to be there. He wants us to tabernacle with him. He's calling us right now, giving us an open check to come to him. Come to him right now. He's calling you right now. Come and receive him. So when you receive him, he will give you the power to dominate every circumstance of life. He will give you the power to rule and reign. You will live with him in eternity. For this world will end one day. The world shall end one day. Say, so behold, I create a new heaven and a new earth. So the world shall pass away. Everything we see today in the world will come to an end one day. But something is starting. When you give your life to Jesus Christ, you will live a peaceable year, life here on earth and you will see end up in heaven in eternity that is what we have come to let you know this hour that until you receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior you will not be able to make it to heaven the heaven is only a home prepared for the saved if you are not saved you are not saved if you have not given your life to Jesus you are not saved. Say, so let not your heart be troubled. If you don't want to see trouble, you need to come to the Prince of Peace. His name is Jesus Christ. He's the Prince of Peace. Say, so in this war, you will hear of war and rumors of war. Say, so, but in me, there is peace. In Jesus is peace. In Jesus is peace. You can see of war today, you can see fear everywhere. Everyone panicking, everyone be afraid. But Jesus gives peace. He makes our heart to be at peace. That is why you need to accept him. That is why you need to make room for him in your life. He's knocking on the door of your heart today. Open the door unto him. Let it come unto you. Let it come and say to you. Let it come and give you peace. Jesus is the giver of peace. Jesus is the giver of hope and is calling out to you right now. He's coming out to you. He's calling you right now. Come and receive him into your heart. For as many as receive him, he has given the power. For as many as receive him, he has given the power. And that power is coming on you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. The power is coming out to you right now. As you receive him into your heart. In the name of Jesus Christ. I read from the book of Matthew, chapter 24 and verse 21. Say, so, yes, there shall be great tribulation 
talking about what we shall see here on earth. Great tribulation, such as was never since the beginning of the world. And none has ever seen this. Say, and except those days be shortened, say, there shall no flesh be saved. A time is coming that there will be so much great tribulation, torments in this world. He said, and there shall have arise first Christ and first prophets, which are so great signs and wonders, in so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Don't be deceived. We are in the time of great deception in the world today. Do not be deceived. Some will come to you and tell you that they are Christ. Do not be deceived. Say, and immediately after the tribulation of those days, shall the sun be darkened a day is coming that the sun will be darkened and the moon shall not give a light anymore a day of darkness is coming a day of gloominess is coming say so, and they shall stars from heaven even stars from heaven shall fall and what will happen next and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken this is what god has said that will come to pass Say, and heaven and I shall not pass away until all this come to be. Say, and there shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. That is Jesus Christ shall appear in heaven. It's going to appear again. It's coming again. That's what we have come to let you know this afternoon. Jesus Christ will appear again in the clouds. And only the one that are saved will go home with him. Jesus will appear again in the clouds. And all the tribes of the earth shall see him. They shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is coming again with great power and glory. And he shall send his angels with the sound of a trumpet. The trumpet will sound one day and rapture will take place. And those that have received him as the Lord and Savior, we go home with him. Hallelujah. Do you want to be numbered among the ones that will receive him and that will go home with him? He said again, that the Son of Man shall be coming. The angels will sound the trumpets and they shall gather his elects from the four winds of the earth. The saved shall be gathered together. Those that have received Jesus as the Lord and Savior, shall be gathered together and they shall be made ready to go to heaven. Say from one end of the heaven to the other. Say so likewise, when you shall see all these things, know that the end is near. Even at the door, the end is very near. Jesus is coming soon. It's going to be very soon. Who knows if it's tonight? If, who knows if it's tomorrow morning? Jesus is coming very soon. That is our message. No other thing we have come to let you know that Jesus is coming very, very soon. The coming of our Lord Jesus Christ is very, very near. And you must receive him if you want to go home with him. If you want to end in heaven, you must make a decision for Jesus today. You must make a decision for Jesus today. Say, so verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. This generation will not pass till all this be fulfilled. Say, so but of the hour and the day knoweth no man. No, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. I say, only God knows the day that this world will end. But certainly, this world will end one day. The world is coming to an end one day. The world is coming to an end soon. Very soon and very soon. Nobody knows the hour and the time. Even Jesus and the angels don't know. It's only God that knows when the end shall come. It can be the next minute. It can be the next hour. It can be the next day. But are you prepared? to go home to, with Jesus. It shall not be said that day that I have not heard about Jesus Christ. That's why we have come to let you know this hour that you need Jesus Christ. 
for you to earn in heaven. You need Jesus Christ for your soul to be preserved from destruction. You need Jesus Christ for you to earn in paradise. You need Jesus. You need Jesus. You need Jesus. He said again, he said, watch therefore, for you know not what hour your Lord doth come. Watch. Watch. Keep watching. Keep a watch over your life. How you live your life. Are you living in deception? Are you living in sin? Stop living in sin. Stop living a life of sin. It's time for you to come to Jesus. It's time for you to keep watching. Watching and waiting for the master will come soon. Watch. For you know not the hour that the Lord will come. So you need to keep watching. Don't think that this world will continue like this. It's coming to, a, to an end soon. This world is coming to an end soon. Therefore, be ye ready. Therefore, be ready. Are you ready for Jesus? Are you ready for the coming of the Lord? Are you ready for the coming of Jesus? Are you ready for the coming of the Lord? Think about it. If you come today, are you going to go to heaven with him? Are you going to go with the heaven, to go to heaven with him? Say the world passed away. And the things therein, but he that doeth the will of the Father shall endure, shall stand. So it's only they that are doing the will of the Father. Are you doing the will of God? Think about it. Are you on the Lord's side? Are you on the Lord's side? Are you on the Lord's side? Are you for Jesus? Are you for Jesus? So you need to make that decision today. You have to be for Jesus. For he has given us, God has given us only one person. And that is Jesus Christ. He came to die for the sin of the world. So, and everyone that receives him shall have everlasting life. But he that does not receive Jesus is already condemned. Don't be condemned. Receive Jesus. Because if you don't receive Jesus, you are condemned. And God does not want anyone to perish, but that all should be saved. That all should come to the knowledge of the truth. And the truth is Jesus. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the life. And Jesus is the truth. So the truth that come to let you know this hour is that Jesus is the only one that can make you to go to heaven. If you want to live in the world year after, you must receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. You must receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And it's very simple. With the heart we believe, with the mouth we make confession. So you just believe in your heart and you confess with your mouth that the Lord Jesus Christ is your Savior and you will be saved. Very simple. Just believe in your heart and receive him into your heart and confess with your mouth. That is it. And you are saved. And that is what we have come to let you know this morning, this afternoon. Say, so blessed is the servant, who, when the Lord shall come, shall find him so doing. God wants us to live ready for him. He wants us to be prepared for him and be waiting for him. And be waiting for him. He wants us to be ready. Say, so for the, therefore be ye ready. For we know the hour. That the Son of Man comments. So we must be ready. And if you are ready this hour, lift your hands. I say after me, say, Lord Jesus, I'm ready for you. I want you to lift your hands right now. Say, Lord Jesus, I'm ready for you. Come into my heart. Come and save me today. Rescue me from sin and from destruction. I receive you today into my heart. Come and be my Lord and my Savior. Thank you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you today that the Lord Almighty will write your name in the book of life in the name of Jesus Christ. And when he comes, we shall go home with him. We shall end well. Our grace for us to live ready and to keep watching. We receive today in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Oh, blessed be your name, Lord. Thank you for healing right now. Thank you for deliverance. Thank you for salvation. Lord, we give you glory and we give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. I'll live out to Pastor Johnny. Thank you very much.
Thank you very much, uh, Brother Adi. Uh, thank you for your powerful word of God right now. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So today, uh, we are going to finish this session right now. Today, one more session is going to start very soon in the nearest city. Praise the Lord. This is the time to receive the salvation. I hope everybody, you have received eternal life. <laughs> eternal life. We are preaching. We are rejoicing the Christian life. Every day, we are preaching. We are dancing. We are jumping by the presence of the Lord. Praise the Lord. All the people today, the people are walking here. If you want to get a meaningful life wherever you are living, you have to believe Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, before I end this session, I want to request to all the people, wake up today, all the nations, wake up all the people, those who are watching online, all the nations, let them come and stand in front of the world gospel revival. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Shake the nations of the UK, every day is doing a world gospel revival. Praise the Lord. 6 p.m. Are you can time? 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. UK time. We were doing last 200 days continuously we were doing. And one more section, we already started. God bless you. That is Air Eyes Asia. To spread the gospel to all the Asian countries. Praise the Lord. Air Eyes Asia, that will be in the morning section. I will be the preacher. That will be translating to all the local languages. Praise the Lord. And the every session, here is world. That means, especially for UK, Europe, African countries, North and South America and Australia. Even under Antarctica too. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Thank you very much everybody. Those are, we are enjoying Christian life. Come on, take We are enjoying Christian life. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Thank you very much. Yes, I want to pray for everybody. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for this session. Pray for this town, the people, those they were hearing the gospel, be present in Jesus' name. And also, I pray for Brother Adi and everybody, Brother Darian, everybody, those who are being the part of this gospel event. I bless each one of them in Jesus' name. Somebody want to shout and say, Amen. God bless you. Thank you. God bless everybody. Okay, thank you. All the show people, God bless you. Thank you.